the first haircut I liked that I did was whenever I started school. Uh, I was cutting next to Caesar, and the way he would do it, he would do one side and I would do the other. And it was so long from there, after probably like my fifth client, kind of got the hang of it. And so he told me I did all right. And like, I know that's not a lot. It's like, what, just all right? But man, coming from Cesar, like that felt so good. Like it was better than anything. And then it went from so on. And it just kept boosting me up. And one thing that Cesar has engraved in my head, it's not just one, it's so many. Always go for what you want. Always work for that shit. Like always hustle. And do not ever be satisfied where you at. Like anything you're, you're gonna do, it starts with you. You need to always take the initiative. Only if y'all knew how much you work, like, y'all will see that. And like, it's just crazy to see that somebody is so capable of doing it. And coming every single day, and oh, it's just so crazy. I remember Cesar gave me good feedback on a haircut that I did. And by the way, I could tell that he gave me good feedback is because he didn't touch it up. He was like, it looks good. And I was just like, oh, damn, like, I made it out. Like, we, we on to something now. And like, that boosted my confidence. The reason I came to Blanco's was because it kind of felt just in my lap. Uh, I came to a seminar before starting just to check it out and I loved it. Like since I kept it so real, he like he came from nothing as well as I did and he just he just inspired me and I was like, yeah, this is the place to come. And man, it was the best choice I ever did. Okay, so joining a barber battle, barber bottom. Okay, so joining the barber battle, like an obstacle that I came across was uh, me not being that confident in myself, even though everyone was telling me like, yeah, really join it, like do it, go for it. Like we got you, but like I said, like, I wasn't confident in myself, but my work shows otherwise. And then being at the rubber bottle, it was, it was intense. Like I was shaking, I saw my hand shaking. I was like, oh shit, this is real. And it, once I kept saying how much time we had, I just tried hurrying up, but Besides that, like I love the experience. It it was badass. So seeing some of my peers place in the fir first place in the barber bottle, man, like I was happy for them because I know that they worked so hard for that, and like they're our family to me. So I was just over the moon when I saw them because we we all started from nothing and just seeing them like get something out of it. It was just it was a great thing. And what I. It was a great feeling. Would I do it again? Yes, definitely. Like now I know what to do, what to expect. So me being a female barber, I always get discouraged, but it doesn't affect me as much as it used to. Just cause the industry is growing so much. And like being able to get something out of it, besides money, like, man, that would be the world to me. Cause I want to be somebody, I want to be known. And like, I speak it to existence, hopefully in the next part of battle, like I plays and we got it once too. That, that was good, that was good. Uh, that was a good one. <laughs>